at the request of one of my viewers, this is a summary of the time I've spent this last two and a half weeks with my new Steam controller. Out of the box, this thing came with two AA batteries and a USB widget that enables wireless play. I plugged the widget into a USB port, put the batteries in the controller, and it worked the first time. Zero installation. In addition, the controller has a micro USB port between the two bumpers, so if you're sitting within cable range and don't want to pay for batteries, you have another option. When compared to an Xbox 360 controller, it's got a few extra buttons in a few extra places, but the main reasons to pick this one over the other are the trackpads that can emulate a mouse. In theory, a gamer could use this controller to replace a mouse, which is a pretty tall order. And to cut to the chase, it works really well. I'm not quite ready to take up sniping in TF2, but I'm having oodles of fun planning out which of my favorite single-player games to play again. At the time of making this video, I've completed an easy run of Half-Life 2, after all, a Valve controller should work on a Premiere Valve game. I'm looking forward to testing several more. Worth noting is that the controller sports gyroscopes and accelerometers similar to the Wiimote, meaning that if need be, your Steam controller will know when and how you've tilted it. An astute gamer discovered that precision aiming in an FPS can be heightened by moving the cursor near your target with your right thumb and correcting the rest with the gyro. According to Steam, I've played Half-Life 2 for 21 hours of the past few weeks, and I've changed batteries once. The ones I have in there are pretty fresh, in fact Steam says they're at 100%. The Steam controller works outside of gaming as well, supposedly allowing users to explore complex data visually, such as the solar systems that create a galaxy. I've spent a bit of time getting my gaming setup working well, but zero time acclimating it to Windows. As a result, buttons are hard to click, and I can't type away from my keyboard. If some other pioneer can create a stellar configuration, I might be inclined to entertain it. In summary, if you were holding off on this purchase because you thought it was going to be a bust, you've got nothing to worry about. If you're having trouble choosing between a $50 purchase and rent, you might want to exercise some caution. Other than that, thanks for watching. This is entertaining. We're picking up radio chatter. They're looking for your car. Get your car in the garage. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Crap. Here come the dropships! Big gun.
go and use this. Actually... No. I would have been going for... Got him. Wrap up that last little. Nope, you got it. That's one hit. You got that one. That's the wrong ammo. Stairs, Freeman. Use the stairs. What happened there? Stocked up there. Still nothing. Ding. 